This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and um, did a video talking about the division in particular it being branded with Tom Clancy and how some people reacted um, to it um, kind of harsh. Well, I wouldn't say harsh. Um, I would say people just didn't weren't feeling how this was considered a Tom Clancy game considering series like Rainbow Six being looked at as the standard for the Tom Clancy name and just talking about how um, you know it's funny how people now reference Tom Clancy games with shooters in particular because of the way that Ubisoft has um, gone about using the brand in their game development um, for the most part it has been associated with shooters because Ubisoft has tied it with the two shooter brands um, and have kind of put them in a place where they weren't when they first started um, they're more traditional shooters that we are used to in this day and time and so yeah it's very very understandable how people would um, associate it but I also found it kind of crazy how people would you know kind of you know disavow that anything like the division could be associated with the brand because it didn't fit that mold and this leads me to what this commentary about life is about which is how we associate things and um, how we reference them how we basically take certain aspects and you know just run with it uh, and I kind of spoke about this before probably a few years ago but it's just something that I feel like needs to be brought back up because we've had discussions on the talk show about everything um the podcast i do with my boy prodigy and a flying moto um this is a boy it's not boy because they're two people sorry about that um anyway uh like we were talking about the bill cosby thing um and how you know when people how people see things and all of a sudden frame it without looking at the whole picture like the fact that the Bill Cosby situation isn't just about rape, but it's about, you know, sexual, just basically different sexual um, harassments, assaults, just different aspects. But everybody says he raped them because, you know, it's what they latched on to, you know. And because he had that affidavit, that means he admits that he raped them, whereas the, nobody really pays attention to exactly what was said in that whole situation when they speak about the affidavit. It's just like, you know, the word rape plus Bill Cosby plus, you know, admit in affidavit, not exactly what he admitted, but admit in affidavit, they throw all those words together and boom. Yep, this dude did it. As Flying Modem said, Bill Cosby raped, he did it. You know what I mean? It, that's how we do things. You know, we take things and we run with them. And we don't necessarily listen to the whole picture. Um, you know, we don't look at it. I said listen to the whole picture. You can tell I'm tired. It's been a long day, people. I've been recording quite a few videos at this point. As well as doing other stuff. But anyway. You know, you don't look at the whole picture. Um, you don't listen to everything that's been said. You don't read everything that's been um, written. You just basically take, cherry pick what you want, and boom, that's it. Uh, and it's very unfortunate because I remember growing up, I used to be that nosy ass kid that used to want to get into everything and know everything. Uh, Still to this day, I'm kind of the guy that people don't like to say or do things around because I pay attention. At least I try to pay attention. And I, you know, 
try to retain as much as possible. I'm not as good at it as I used to because even I slip into those moments where I'm not really paying attention and I just see something I'm like, what? Um, but I still have that, you know, thing inside me that when I see something and I go, oh shit, that's blank. Something in, my, in the back of my mind says, are you sure that's blank, Michael? Uh, maybe you should go check it out again. And then after I initially react and I go and check it out, I'll be like, oh shit, my initial reaction was wrong. It's actually this. Um, not a lot of us do that. We see it and we just run, go ahead, go for it. And, you know, identify whatever it is with whatever we, you know, pick out whatever you, we choose to play pay attention to it, it, it it's 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 an, it's something that i kind of understand because we're in such a fast-paced world now where people are always on the move always um you know trying to do things at a pace that is a lot quicker than what i remember growing up you know the way that we have the access to all this information with the internet and how fleshed out it's become, uh, yeah, the different places that we can access this information from. I mean, shit. Looking to my left right now is sitting my sit, sitting on the desk is my phone, which I can get on the internet. Like, you know, before you know, <laughs> we didn't have those type of things growing up internet didn't come become a um you know thing for the public really until late 80s early 90s and even then it was just beginning to become some become something that people access on the regular um you know so you wanted to get information you either watch the news or you read the newspaper read a book you know, they, word of mouth, things like that. Where now, everything's thrown up, and with so many outlets for information, everybody's trying to now present information in a way that kind of grabs you. Like how you look at a YouTube video title now, and people will frame it in a way that makes you say, "What? What the hell is going on?" And then when you listen to a video, it's like, "Oh, it's not actually that." You know what I mean? You get these sensationalized titles and things like that and of course with the way we absorb that information now we're not really paying attention to anything but you know what pops out to us so if something pops out that's what it is when when you dig into the surface it could be totally different you know and it, it's you know it, it, it's funny um because i think that's in a lot of ways how we get caught up in bad situations in life um i think it's also part of the reason why like certain things that we don't care for um in like in this country the united states or around the world ends up the way it is because we're not paying attention i know a lot of people like to say oh it's the media um lying to you you know a lot of people like to say that we're being manipulated where if we really aren't being manipulated as much as we think I think the reality is that we're not paying attention anymore and a lot of things you know not to get too um, deep down this whole um, political conspiracy path you know but I think a lot of times that these people know that we're not paying attention and that if they throw out something that pops out to us, we'll jump on it and then they can go about their business and do what they want to do um, behind the scenes because we're not digging into what's going on. But eh, it is what it is. Just thought I'd talk to you guys about that real quick. And anyway, as always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think and I'll holler at you later. It's your boy Black Makers in the Mouth. Jesus.